Let's begin by exploring the first secret. The first secret is please just be yourself. I can't stress this enough. That's why I'm saying please because this is ultimately your life and I'm really concerned about people who just pretend to be someone else. So let's try to be yourself. I know sometimes it's difficult. You want to impress your date, the person you're seeing for the first time, second time, third time, or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You want to impress them and you want to appear to be better than you are. But just be yourself because ultimately, eventually they'll know who you are. Especially if you have common friends and mutual friends, they will know. So just be yourself. Please just be yourself. You will thank me later. Okay, now you're probably asking, how do you know who you really are, right? And we'll talk about that very soon. Main thing is, do not pretend to be someone you're not. That's how you know you're, who you are, right? And do not be something you're not. If you are rich, then you are rich. If you are poor, then you are poor. If you are successful, you are successful. Do not pretend to be something that you are not. Some people pretend to be dumb. And sometimes they can get away with it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good to pretend to be dumb sometimes. Um, you don't need to show people how smart you are. But maybe when you are dating, don't make yourself too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> don't pretend to be too poor or too successful or too dumb, right? You have to be smart. Girls, females are attracted to guys who are smart. Not too smart that you kind of are too clever for them, but smart is good. Looking for healthy relationships is something that you should be, you know, it should be at the back of your mind, you know. Just be yourself and look for healthy relationships. Do not be fake. Do not lie. Do not cheat. Just be yourself. If you regularly lie or cheat, then maybe you need to stop doing that because obviously it's not attractive and being fake is not healthy. So do not be fake. Try not to be fake. Start to learn to be honest. Learn to be open and candid and transparent. As much as possible. I know sometimes you have to hide certain things. Um, and at the right time, you can tell them about those things. It could be something in your past. It could be something that you've done. Uh, or something you want to do. Um, that is kind of risky. That it's not maybe the right time to talk about it right now. At this point. Especially if you're early on in the relationship. You don't want to talk about marriage and kids and that kind of stuff. Usually, depending on how old you are, but uh, usually you need to be as open and honest and transparent as possible. But some topics can be pushed back later on. Like, what kind of wedding do you want? Do you want a vacation wedding? Do you want a destination wedding? Do you want a, you know, under the sea wedding? People do that. Um, or you want a wedding in a hot air balloon? That kind of stuff. You know, you can. It's not about being fake. It's about um, finding the right time to talk about certain things. So try not to please everyone. It is not possible to please everyone all the time. Choose your battles. Sometimes uh, parents and in-laws have their expectations. Um, they expect certain things from you and you want to try to please them as much as possible but you cannot do that all the time. You cannot name the, your kid whatever they want the kid to be named. You have to choose a name that you and your wife or your husband chooses, right? So again, just be yourself, be authentic. But how do you really know who you are? And how do you know that? And we're going to talk about that later on in the other, uh, in the other parts of this couple of videos. This is, I think this is going to be a couple of videos. So let me just move all the way down to the next section. So this is part two. I'm trying to keep it concise. So part two, basically, ask yourself, are you wearing a mask? So to in order to figure out if you are who you are, 
find out first and you know be honest with yourself are you wearing a mask every one of us i think in some way or other we wear a mask maybe we have impossible syndrome we don't feel like we're as successful or as talented or as gifted or as skillful as some people think we are right we're not as competent sometimes we're not as uh, as good as some people think we are some people think we're really good at driving some people think that we are really good at math at uh, you know uh, calculations and uh, arithmetic but maybe we're not we don't we don't maybe you don't think that way or we, we some people think that we are really good at languages or uh, puzzles but maybe we don't think we are and that's in a sense being humble but are you wearing a mask that is making you fake right are you pretending to be something or someone that you're not what masks are you wearing ask yourself that you know um, it could be pride it could be something maybe you come from a poor family maybe you come from uh, nothing and you made yourself really successful and maybe you change your name or maybe something happened in the past maybe you, you you were married before or you had a divorce or a breakup or something you know maybe you ran away from the altar right and we had cold feet that's all reasonable stuff so what mask are you wearing um what are you pretending to be who are you pretending to be that you're not right you got to let it you got to let down your defenses are you being too defensive um, or are you broken, shy, and needy? Um, if you are, there are still people that will love you, f- even though you're broken, you're shy, or you're needy. Um, don't be too defensive, especially if you're going to open up your life to someone that you're going to start seeing regularly and be in a committed relationship with. Let down the guard sometimes, and then eventually let the person into your life under your skin, right? So if you would, if you were asked to introduce yourself, what would you talk about yourself? How would you talk about? Okay, let me ask. Let me read this again. If you were asked to introduce yourself, would you be able to talk about yourself with confidence? Sometimes we have very negative self-image or self-esteem, right? We think we're not the best, and it's false humility sometimes, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes we really are uh, not that good, but to someone else, to the regular standard, we are really good. If especially if you're a perfectionist or someone with OCD or some other um, compulsive um, behavior, right? So when you're asked to introduce yourself, can you do it with confidence? That is a key question that will help you to understand. Are you pretending to be someone else and that's why you have no confidence or are you pretending to be someone else and you have so much confidence that it's great but it's actually a lie right again are you defensive are you broken shy or needy or something else altogether do you know what your strengths and weaknesses are do you know what you're good at and what you're not so good at Yeah, maybe you're really good at school, but you're not good at entrepreneurship. Maybe you are, you know, uh, always looking for the shortcut, and that could be a weakness. Maybe you, um, um, you know, do things your own way, and you're stubborn, and you don't listen to other people. You're not open to change. That could be a weakness or a strength so ultimately you need to know what are your strengths what are your weaknesses ask yourself do you often act one way with your friends and another way with other people obviously yes with friends you do act one way and with other people you act one way but i'm saying that are you consistent right are you the same person with your friends or are you different when you're with someone else um like do you pretend to be one way and another way with someone else right so obviously within reason you do have to have different uh, ways of behaving especially with family with siblings with your parents with your friends with your close friends with strangers there are different ways to act and different ways of behaving but generally you are who you are don't pretend to be 
something completely different to one group of people and a completely different to someone else like you need to have a baseline and act as much as possible the same way so you have integrity the way you act when you're alone and when you act with your friends should not be too too different that you know you you need to be the same person ultimately right you don't have to change your voice or act uh, more masculine or more manly uh, to with one group than another group you don't have to uh, compete I think uh, you don't have to pretend to be better than you are just be yourself and people will accept you as you are are you the same person are you always the same person do you find it hard to relax that's a really good question to ask yourself um, especially you know as you're getting ready to date and uh, be in a relationship so ask yourself these questions okay I'm going to split this into two parts and I'll see you in the next section the next video